Someone tell me drawers that don't close are an aesthetic. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Lainey. Today is so hot outside. It's 105 degrees in Michigan and I'm not used to that so I'm sorry if I look disheveled. Um, I feel disheveled. Since it's so freaking hot outside today, I wanted to talk about summer trends because I just feels like summer. But more importantly, I want to talk about summer trends that I will not be purchasing this summer. So I've made these kinds of videos before. It doesn't mean that I don't like the trend or I don't like the trend on other people or even on myself necessarily. They're just things that I don't think I will spend my money on. I'm sure if I like came across some of them at the thrift store, I would give them a try, but a lot of them, I just don't feel like I'd be able to style enough ways to justify purchasing or I wouldn't know how to style. I don't know, so let's just get into it. <laughs> I feel like this first one's gonna be really surprising to a lot of people, and that is flat form sandals. Honestly, anything flat form, so like platform, but without the heel, I'm really not that into. And it's not even because I think I'm like tall or too tall with platforms on. I'm 5'7", so I, I don't feel like that's tall or like really tall with platforms and not that it matters to be really tall or whatever. I don't know, I just don't really like them. To me, platforms almost look cheap unless it's a uh, Doc Martin. I like the Jaden like platform Doc Martens and the like shoe Oxford kind of Doc Martens. Those I really, really like, and that's about where things end with platforms with me. I really do not like the, like, a Converse platform. I would much rather for myself just get a regular, like, Converse shoe, like a Chuck shoe. I don't know, to me they just look like knockoffs and they look cheap. Probably just because, like, they haven't been around long enough and I'm just sucker for, like, an original thing. And then when it comes to flat form sandals, which is what I'm supposed to be talking about, um, I never liked a flat form sandal, even, like, in the early 2000s when I was younger. I always thought they were so dumb <laughs> and it looked ridiculous and I was much more just a flat flip-flop girl even though those aren't really that cute either. Does anyone else feel this way? Because I feel like most people are always like will choose the platform over the like regular shoe and I'm such a person who will choose the regular shoe over the platform for myself. <laughs> Again, if you have any of these things, do not get offended. Don't think I look at your outfits and judge them. I do not care what other people wear at all, honestly. Do I have opinions on whether I'd wear it or not? Of course. But everyone's style is different and that's what makes things fun. I hope not everyone listens to this video and what I have to say because that would be boring. But I'm still gonna say stuff. <laughs> and kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum for the next trend are the barely bare sandals. So these are just sandals that are super thin basically. I don't know. I don't know if I don't like feet or toes or what but I just don't really like sandals period so I will definitely not be purchasing or thrifting either types of these sandals they are not for me to me I can make an outfit so much cuter with can you guess it cowboy boots I'd rather die of heat stroke in my cowboy boots than wear a sandal with my toes exposed. The next trend I will not be purchasing is the coastal grandmother aesthetic. So I think that I sometimes like dress coastal grandmother without trying. Like I've always liked linen pants and button ups and you know just kind of like basic neutral outfits. I do understand that but when I'm putting those outfits together I don't feel like I'm stepping out or honestly that I really like my outfit. I'm doing it for the comfort kind of like a coastal grandmother would. So I'm not um, reaching to embody this trend. Sometimes it just happens. The coastal grandmother aesthetic to me is just kind of like loungewear and I don't know I'm never trying to embody any kind of loungewear. It just kind of happens so I'm not going to be purchasing things to like become that coastal grandmother aesthetic because if I'm doing it it's just an accident. I don't know, why does everything have to have a label? Like, yeah, I like some of those outfits, and then when you call it Coastal Grandmother, I feel like you're trying to make it this thing, or people are trying to make it this thing, and it's like, why does it have to be a thing? Can it just be an outfit? Am I being a hater? <laughs> I say that in every one of these videos. The next thing I won't be buying this summer are platform heels. <laughs> this kind of goes against what I was saying with 
platforms. Platforms are normally what, like two to three inches? It really does not add that much height. It's like a kitten heel almost. Like it's two to three inches. It's not that high to me. But when we go for the platform heel, and I'm thinking those like Versace heels, like the dupes that everybody and their mother has, and now we're getting into more like a sandal type of uh, platform heel, which I think are so cute. I, I love the look of a platform heel. I'm just not gonna wear it because I've noticed when when you're taller you just get looked at so much more you really stand out in a crowd as like a taller girl so if I wear a pair of six inch heels I'm literally six feet tall I wouldn't care if like I was taller than my boyfriend I wouldn't care about any of those things you just get stared at a lot more and you draw more attention to yourself and I don't like that I don't like drawing attention to myself even though I like to like dress up and you know dress a little bit more out there I'll do that with my clothes but not just with like the height thing because then when I draw too many eyes to myself I'll just get like uncomfortable and I don't like it that's why I don't wear platform crazy high heels <laughs> but I do love them and I wish I would just get over it but I have issues with people looking at me which seems weird because so many people are looking at me on the internet all the time. <laughs> make it make sense. The next trend that I will not be buying are pleated skirts. Even though like the tennis skirt doesn't feel like a true pleat, it is. And the tennis skirts were, you know, kind of going viral in like quarantine or whatever. I like gave it a try, but there was just something about it that I didn't like. Uh, I like more just like an A-line mini skirt with no pleats. And then now it's the like maxi pleated skirts we were seeing a lot during fashion week. And I don't know why, I've just never been a fan of a pleated skirt or a pleated dress. I would rather just have like a, not even necessarily a form-fitting skirt because I like a like tiered skirt or ruffles. Pleats are just not my favorite. I don't know what they remind me of, but they're not for me. But I've seen other people wear them and I really like how it looks. Um, I just know if I got it, I'd be like, why'd you do this? <laughs> And the last thing I will not be buying in summer 2022 are matching sets. I really do like matching sets and I like how they look. It's just that to me, I don't get that much wear out of them. And yeah, you can like put the top with other pants and the pants with other tops. But I just like don't if I have matching sets. Yeah, I don't know. The matching sets I've been seeing, I'm just like not super into. If I thrift one, definitely. Matching sets again, normally it's like... They're just expensive, and I just don't understand it. Um, and I feel like they just waste away in my closet for the amount I've spent on them. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any requests for me. Um, you guys come up with the best video ideas, and I love doing them. If you guys have been following me on Instagram or on YouTube for a while, you'll know that I am renting a studio, and it is almost done. I can't believe it. It's been since February we've been working on it, and I cannot wait to show it to you guys. So make sure you're subscribed to see that transformation, or follow me on Instagram for like little sneak peeks make sure to like comment and subscribe if you want to and i'll see you in a few days i love you the absolute most bye